<laughs> oh, it's my favorite animation we have. It's beer of the week time, folks. And this week we have my good friend Ron Gamble, the founder and brewmaster at Veterans United Craft Brewery. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you again. This is uh, this is fun. I appreciate you coming in. Uh, Veterans United uh, Craft Brewery, um, named named as such because you're a former Navy pilot, right? I am a U.S. Navy veteran. So. And how did your your whole story is pretty cool. You actually were in the brewing business, but then your wife gave you. So it all started. My wife bought me a homebrew kit in 1999, and from there the the hobby turned into a, a passion. I went away to brewing school, got my master brewer's diploma, and then I started working in the industry back in 2007 from assistant brewer, brewer, head brewer, and then one of uh, two lead brewers at a big regional brewery in New England. And so, then you decided to get the heck out of the Northeast. Got tired of all that snow, came back down <laughs> to Florida. Uh, my wife's a native Floridian, and uh, I just love the weather down here. So uh, It's a good spot. So what, what beer did you, you have a bunch of mainstays that mm -hmm. you, we have on the table here, but which beer did you bring with you? So I brought our Belgian uh, Golden Strong Ale. Uh, I've got it uh, barrel aged as well as the, the straight beer, so we can taste the difference between the two. And, how the unique flavors of the wine barrel really come forth. So this is pretty cool. This is called Cosmic Cat on this side, and this is your regular Cosmic Cat that you've been brewing for a few years. That's correct. Um, and then you took some of this Cosmic Cat and you put it in whiskey barrel? No, I put it in uh, Cabernet, oh, Cabernet Sauvignon wine barrels. From California? So, from California. So let's take a look at what the difference is. I'll pour yep. this one. Yep. You pour that one. Um, how long, uh, what, first of all, what gave you the idea to put it in a wine barrel? Well, a lot of breweries do bourbon barrels, and I think that's a great flavor. This is a golden ale, and I think with the subtleties of red wine, and uh, it really um, mixes well with it. So I didn't want to overpower the beer itself, and I think you'll, you'll definitely see a color difference. So, yeah, so check um, this out. So the, the darker amber is coming from the wine barrel. It's all that red wine that's being soaked up into the beer. You get a little bit of a tannins from the oak, and the other one is, is just unaged, uh, straight, Belgian, golden, strong. Yeah, you can see this one's uh, obviously got that little, little more amber. Mm -hmm. It's got oh, a lot you can of, smell, you can smell yeah, the Cabernet. Yeah, you definitely get that red wine characteristics out of it. So taste the, uh, taste the golden one first. All right. the, uh, That is really good. And so that AB, what's the alcohol ABV 8. on this 6%. one? 8.6%. 8.6. So it is a, a yep. leaning strong. Mm -hmm. But the, the IBU, which is the bitterness rating, is really low. It's only 30. All right. So that, then, that was good. And then go ahead and taste the barrel aged one. Oh, wow. Wow. That is, total, that is totally different. That's really it cool. Is. So the, the, you can taste a little bit of the, the Cabernet, but not too much. It's mm -hmm. not like overpowering. Yeah, we aged that for many months in the uh, the wine barrels. Does it make it stronger, or did it uh, come out the same? In our tests, uh, not not appreciably stronger. So very cool. Uh, you can check out um, the brewery, which is one of my favorite in town because it's like a speakeasy brewery. You're on the mm -hmm. the very end of there's the front of it, but it's you're in an industrial warehouse complex down there off of Western Way, right? We are. Yep. And that's the inside of the tap room. So go check it out, and you can do tours and everything. This is really good. Oh, thanks, man. Sure. Appreciate you coming in. Yeah, it's a great beer. We'll post this segment on our website, firstcoastliving.net, later today for you to share with all of your friends. There you go. Mm.